Dala ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang mga hakbang ng Securities and Exchange Commission sa pagsusulong ng digitalization sa bansa na makatutulong upang makaakit ng mas maraming mamumuhunan. Tiniyak naman ng Pangulo ang pinagting na pagbabantay ng pamahalaan laban sa mga online scam. Nagpabalik si Mel Alas Moras. 2, 1. Congratulations to the Securities and Exchange Commission. Pinangunahan ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang selebrasyon ng ikawalumputlimang anibersaryo ng Securities and Exchange Commission. Gayun din ang inaugurasyon ng kanilang headquarters sa Makati City. Ang SEC ay sangay ng pamahalaan na siyang humahawak sa pagpapatala at pangasiwa ng mga korporasyon, capital market participants, securities and investment instruments market, investing public at iba pang organisasyon sa bansa. Sa programa, ibinida ng SEC ang mga bago nilang digital services tulad ng e-secure, e-search, e-ramp at sec check app para sa mas mabilis na pagpaparehistro at mas madaling pagbabantay ng mga korporasyon at kumpanya sa bansa. Sa talumpati ni Pangulong Marcos, kinilala niya ang mga hakbang ng SEC tungo sa mas pinaigting na ease of doing business at digitalization sa Pilipinas. Through the digital reforms that you have put in place, you have made it easier for corporations to comply with the requirements and maintain a good standing in the business community. Likewise, your dedication to further improve the processes through innovations has enabled the SEC to employ a more modern, more efficient, and more secure approach in managing stakeholders and their data. Para naman mapanatili ang magandang direksyon ng SEC, panawagan ng presidente sa mga opisyal at kawani ng ahensya. Let us use all the successes to further promote ease of doing business and to actively contribute to our overall goal of bringing a comfortable life to our people. I likewise encourage you to continue the digitalization of your services and further invigorate the advocacy for sustainable finance and good corporate governance. Sa gitna naman ng mabilis na takbo ng teknolohiya ngayon, nananatiling problema ang mga online scam at banta ng tinatawag na artificial intelligence. Pero pagtitiyak naman ng Pangulo, nagkabantay rito ang gobyerno. We continue to monitor very closely and do all that we can. The, the SIM card registration I think was a big step and I think we are getting to the point where we have disposed of or uh, taken out of the system many of the SIM cards that have not been registered uh, because they have been used for illegal purposes and for these scams that we have been hearing about. So we just have to be very, very uh, uh, watchful and we have to be very, very careful and also be aware of the new technologies, of the new uh, ways in which that, uh, we can prevent these kinds of things. May payo rin ang presidente sa taong bayan at tiniyak na mananagot ang mga scammer. My advice to, to the public is that when you get a message and there is a deal being presented and it sounds too good to be true, it is. Of course, should anyone be found guilty of, uh, of uh, promoting such scams, uh, then the full force of the law will come, uh, uh, will come into play. Melalas Moras para sa morning show ng Bayan, Rise and Shine, Pilipinas.